Okay, so what's up guys, I'm Pixel Sammy and in this particular video, what we're going to show today is Bentica's latest video tutorial. So in this particular video, we're going to show this particular tattoo effect which he showed in his latest video. And I'm sure many of you have this question of how he actually did this particular tattoo effect. So in this particular video, we're going to show this in After Effects. This can be done only in After Effects because you will need 3D to do this particular thing, which is not possible in Premiere Pro or in Final Cut Pro. So we are going to do this particular thing in After Effects. So with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing which you guys need is you guys will need a video which is a very high resolution. So in my case, I have used the same footage as Bentica's latest video. So I was able to download it in 720p so the image quality or the video quality is not that great. But in your case, make sure it is at HD or in 4K quality to get the best results possible. So with that being said, let's get started and let's jump right into After Effects. So say for example, this is the clip. This is the same footage as Bentica's clip. So basically what you guys need to do is at this clip, the point at which you want to make the animation effect, just go to that frame, go to composition, save frame as and click on file. And then save this file as a PSD to any of the locations. And then click on render. After that, open the file in Photoshop. Now make sure when this particular panel appears, make sure to leave it as don't manage color. Otherwise the colors will be changed in this particular Photoshop and then click on OK. After that, this is going to appear. And then after that, what you guys need to do is you need to make the plane in a different layer and then remove the plane from the original layer. This is how you need to do this. Now I have just given out more some tutorials on how to select an object way better or how to actually remove an object way better from an image. There are some links to those really awesome tutorials from other creators down below. So you guys can definitely check them out if you want to learn how to remove objects or how to just cut paste objects like this. In my case, I'm going to just do it in a bit of hurry, but in your case, you need to do it very precisely and with utmost care so that the selection is very, very much perfect. After that, click on layer via copy and then this is going to appear and then unhide the upper layer, go to this lasso tool, select the plane and make sure the original background layer is selected, then right click, click on fill, click on content aware and this is going to happen, which means that we are basically going to remove the plane from the original background layer and keep on doing this until the entire screen looks very much natural. Now we have two particular layers. Now as my selection is not very perfect because I was doing it in a bit of hurry, but you guys need to do it with utmost care. After that, just save this particular PSD file and then close Photoshop and then open After Effects once again and then go to the panel where you have saved the Photoshop file. Just drag the Photoshop file onto the composition panel just like this and make sure merge layers is selected and click on OK. And then this is going to appear, then click on the composition, which was the original composition. And then drag the Photoshop file onto the main sequence. Cut the Photoshop file till the position where you have just exported the frame. And make sure the PSD file is in the height and width of the composition. So now what you're going to do is you're going to animate this particular composition, which we just imported from Photoshop in After Effects. As you can see, as the selection is not perfect, it is looking like this, but in your case, the selection has to be very perfect. And then after that, what you guys need to do is double click on the Photoshop layer. So as you can see, we are going to have two layers, the layers we selected from Photoshop. Now what you are going to do is we are going to turn the plane image as a 3D object and make sure it is only the plane, which is the 3D object and not the background. Now make sure you just go to the starting of the frame, set a keyframe to the position, go a few frames later, drag the plane on this side, go a few frames later again, drag the plane on this side as if the plane is moving. Now it is a bit too slow, so I'm going to just fast forward this particular keyframe just like this, just by dragging them 
I'm just going to increase this particular space just a little bit, just like this. It is still a little bit too slow, so I'm going to just drag the keyframes a little bit more, just like this. Yes, this more or less looks really good. Now what you need to do is you want to select the orientation of this particular plane. So just go around the second frame, just around this part. Set a keyframe to the orientation, then go a little bit two or three frames later and change the Y orientation to this side. As you can see, the plane animation is almost ready. But now what you guys need to do is you need to easy ease all the keyframes. Just like this. We're going to do it for this ones as well. And then after that, we're going to just increase or decrease the speed in the speed animation panel or the speed graph. And make sure you have a curve kind of a graph in the speed animation panel to make it a little bit more smooth. And you guys can definitely play with the curves and all and the keyframes and all to see how you actually fit your animations and your particular keyframes. So this is going to take some time depending on your own taste and depending on how you actually want your footage to be. For me, this particular thing looks really good. You can play with the keyframes just a little bit in order to just give you the added flair. But in most cases, this is how you actually do the job. Now, if you want to do more such animations, then you can keep on editing and making new keyframes after the points and then keep on changing the orientation one by one, one by one, if you want to do this particular thing similar to Bentike. Now, after that, you guys can definitely play with the curves, the graph, and then make the transition the way you want to. So that this is how you do the job. So with that being said, this is how you do the job. Add in proper sound effects, proper music, and you are pretty much done. With that being said, this is Pixel Sammy. Thank you so much.